Hello, welcome guys to the new project of the project series. And today we are uh, going to make an e-commerce e app uh, in which like user can see the items or uh, a search item and uh, like buy or sell something. So we, we are going to make e-commerce e app for and like the mobile store for buying the second and phone. So without wasting time, let's like jump into the project. So um, the packages for the project I like included is um, HTTP for uh, like getting the API request and Google font. Uh, we don't need like this page transition. So it's okay. And page transition. So these are the three packages which I have included. So and also the uh, number of screens we have the home screen, search screen, and the main screen. So without wasting time, let's like jump into the project. So as a main file, so for main file, uh, let's make a void function uh, in which like uh, we have to, we are going to make run app function. And inside which we can pass the new screen which is the stateless screen name as like you get my on now and the same thing uh, we can pass it perfect and can also see the parts into the now we have to remove this with the material app and uh, after material app, we can do multiple things like default checker, which can be false, and uh, the home thing. So for which I have, we have to make a new screen here. So let's make a this a stateful screen home screen and name it as a home screen. Home screen. Perfect. So this is the screen. Let's import this. Perfect. Uh, now I can pass this screen name over here. So perfect. And now we just have to import this. So uh, this is our like basic project setup. And we can also make. Um, let's put constant over there. Uh, similar thing for the search screen. Just use a name it as a search screen and again include material app. So this is the basic pro uh, basic setup for the project. So uh, let's like build this so that uh, we can like refresh our app. So this is a like a blank screen because uh, we are making it from the scratch. So uh, for the next part, uh, let's replace this with the scaffold for designing things. But uh, before designing, mm, we can include some of the variables or the function which we are like going to use. So for the home screen, in the home screen we want uh, like a the first function uh, which have like which can get all the details about the uh, data uh, details about the items so for which uh, firstly uh, let's make a list of type type dynamic uh, these are the similar things uh, which we did in a last project for um, calling the apis Okay, uh, which let's call it items of MP, and now we can like design a function. So for function, let's give it as a type of future. 
Let's name it as a function as a function. Let's name it as a function as a function. Let's name it as a function. Which is a uh, async, or that is a future function, and inside which uh, we can initialize some of the variables. So. Uh, Let's import that uh, HTTP package. Package HTTP. Slash HTTP dot back perfect as HTTP. Uh, so, like now we can use press HTTP up and we want to like put the get request inside the API link. So, for the API, I have pasted uh, the API from which we are going to get the data. So, like just we can paste it here. Before pasting this, uh, I have to also include a URI parse. Inside parse, uh, I can paste this. So now we have like uh, pasted uh, the API. So uh now we have to like uh, get the details from the or the response from the api if so let's uh, write a condition response uh, is equals to like a uh, success status equals to 100 so we just want to store store the store all the data uh from this API to data variable. So for like the resolving my error, I just import one more thing. So we have all the data inside the data variable. So now uh, I can just set a state function for setting the data. Inside inside uh, items, uh, so uh, we have a uh, Imported or stored all the things inside data listing to the items, and if uh, this like request is not successful, uh, we can write a uh, in statement to like set state that items list will be empty. Perfect. Perfect. Now we can format this. Uh, now uh, our like function is designed, and we are, uh, we are also have to like initialize the things we have like needed in the timing. So let's move to the designing part. 
So for the designing part, uh, the thing we want first is app bar. So for making app bar, we'll call app bar widget. And inside which, uh, let's call some of the properties like elevation, which will be zero. And after this, we also want like title, which have a row. And inside row we have like uh, children. So for the children, um, or uh, like let's give it another row. So inside row we again have children. So for the children, um, I want a uh, first title. Happens of pin drop perfect of color white perfect. Uh, now, uh, I think we got text here. India whose style will be of Google Fonts dot poppins and of color white but font size of 17 perfect I can also include a size box here of it but perfect so this is the row and after which uh, after this row uh, I can like uh, um, give a size box to uh, we have to see that here I can give a size box of it 50 and another icon of profile or notification. Color white. Yes, put constant everywhere, and this is the thing. So, uh, we are like done with this. So, the only thing like we want uh, to add is like, uh, firstly, uh, the background color. So, for background color, uh, we are choosing like colors. Dot blue gray of the darkest light the night and gray. So, and we also want a leading. So for the leading, uh, we can copy this and. Uh, Replace this with the menu option. 
perfect so this is like uh, the app bar the only uh, thing which is left is uh, assigning an image so we are using that image network and or uh, not network uh, we can use a set image a set because we have some image here and you can copy the path of the imported image of the project I have imported just swap this for the common one and get some little bit some height or color so for height I want uh, 40 and for color I want white perfect and just can give some of the line here for separating it so perfect uh, this is our uh, Add bar which uh, we have included. So, like, uh, let's move to the next screen. Uh, after a bar, um, we can like uh, move to the design. So, for the design part, uh, firstly, I want a container. And inside a container, I want, um, or let's put this container uh, inside a column first. So for container, I want height this and the color similar to blue gray dot. 900. Mm. This will contain a child of interval. Perfect. And inside interval, uh, we have on tap. So for an on tap, uh, we will like uh, navigate to the search page. But before this, Let's make a child of this. So for child, uh, we have we have to make another container of height. Just like let's put a comma here. And with this. Now decoration of box decoration, which uh, we want border radius of circular. Then, and the color we want is white.
we want this interval to be uh, like in the center. So perfect. Uh, we have this, and the thing we want to include inside this is our text. So we can copy the text from here and put inside this. Just change to search smart home mall. Uh, to the size black. Uh, you can make it some bold with a font page. Add some amount of value. Perfect. Or uh, we can give it a same color. Why we want them? So perfect. Mm, the thing uh, we can also do is wrap it in a car row and add a icon here of search. So for icon, let's copy this and paste this here, get this here, and call a size box of with A. And a comma, and uh, replace this notification sign search. Perfect, and replace this with the blue gray shape. I think we have to do this function. Okay. So we have like successfully uh, made our uh, app bar and search field. So uh, we can also like give the navigation field too. So for the navigation, we use navigator. A dot push to next string and the route we want this page transition the widget we imported and for a child we want search string Which we made and for the type, we want just paid for it. So now we can also navigate to the next page. So this is done. Uh, now, like uh, we can move forward. So uh, after this, uh, for the column, uh, we have a, a row thing. Inside row, uh, we want to like uh, add all the uh, brand name or the brand icon. So let's make a children. So uh, before this, uh, let's design a widget for this. And let's name it uh, contain. So, and 
the thing uh, it want the string i m j and in return uh, it uh, will give a container of height 60 with 100 and decoration of box decoration border radius of circular 10 and of, of color white okay And the other thing is child. Uh, let's have a container. Or uh, let's say uh, image network. First, we'll give it to um, image here. Not memory network. So image of height fifty. Oh. So this is the thing. So uh, for the row, um, I have like uh, some of the images, um, or like we can say that I called images of some company. So I'm just gonna paste it here. Perfect. So Now let's try to print this and put this row inside up. Single change. Perfect. Also, like define the scroll direction of axis horizontal. Okay, now this thing is go. Perfect. So, like uh, now, next thing uh, we have to design is uh, a page view for um, giving the banner or for making the banner thing or a carousal, which um, So uh, this page view uh, will be inside a size box. So let's wrap it in a size box. 
of highest one fifty. We may also have to provide some size box for height eight over here. Perfect. So inside page view, uh, I want the children with will be a size box of 500 and inside which I want the image dot network and for fit uh, I want cover. So let's uh, let's include the image. Uh, which we want here. So for the image, let's give here pocket. So just have to put this and copy this. I'm taking uh, like the same image, but uh, you can put a different banner. So you can get this one. Uh, perfect. Uh, this is like a bit blurry, but it uh, like uh, we're gonna find. So we have de uh, designed the uh, banner and all the things. So. Let's uh, walk into the uh, making the items. So the items for the items we will like uh, be using the grid view builder. And for the builder, we have. Silver grid. It fixed cross axis from. Pop it and inside which we have to define cross axis spacing main axis spacing and cross axis count of two. And inside the item builder, we Context and end of item and the item count of
of the item uh, which uh, will be inside the line. So perfect. Uh, this is the thing. Uh, now we can like uh, just design the item. So for the item, uh, firstly, let's give a final item one new variable as a items index or a saving the line of code and in return we want a container of height I guess 250 and color of white. Perfect. So this is perfect. And the other thing we can give a child here. And for a child, uh, Let's call a column of children. Inside children, I want image network of item slash. Of default image, um, well, image. Okay, so. I can also give height of 120 and get of 100. Mm. Um, now the next thing I want is our row. For children inside which I have like multiple texts, text I can like copy from above. Let's copy this one. It's still here. And Replace this text with the dollar sign. Or at the rate, item listing. These all uh, are the fields from the API, uh, which I can like provide in the description to you.
ってる Alignment of stock, perfect. Let's pop this for the um, device storage. So after like uh, device storage, uh, first thing is that the model is important. We have to list here. And the model after which want another of children text, but now there will be like the two texts and space between them. Perfect. And here we want. Device storage. And device condition. Okay. Perfect. Uh, we can copy this through our team. And then we paste it over here. So we have to change something. This. Like, um, this pin location. And here, we will have. Listing data. So finally, our uh, grid is uh, ready. The only thing we have to do is to like call the function. So for this, we are not using um, uh, the future builder cause uh, the data in API is like uh, frequently changing. So we only want to like get the data from time. So we are uh, using like the init state. So for the init state, uh, let's uh, let's call the next state. Perfect. Inside which I want to call function. Let's get perfect. Now I can run the or build uh, the screen. So After the formatting it, uh, let's try to run it.
we have to wait until this is installed. Perfect. Uh, so all the data like uh, I image and the model name has come. The only thing we forgot to uh, like add is after this banner thing, uh, we have to like give a size box of high date. Let's skip to pause. I also want to add one text here. It will be same. Buying items. Oh. We can give it a penalty. Perfect. Uh, if you have given the padding so that we can remove the size box and we will do. So, this is our final app. Uh, we have included all the things. So, uh, thank you for watching. Mm, your assignment for this project is to add a search screen over here. Uh, and I hope you like uh, the video. Uh, so please make sure you like subscribe to the channel and we'll meet in the next video thank you